All right, so I am making a foil pack dinner tonight, and I am cutting up all the potatoes um, that I grew of this color, um, and I'm putting them in some water to get the starch out. But this was a new variety that I bought from um, Prairie Woods in Maine, and we're going to try them out. Got a decent size uh, harvest this year of potatoes. I sold a lot at my mom and dad's farm stand, made a little bit money. So we're going to cut up these potatoes, and then I am cutting up some onions. They're small that I first picked, my very first picking of the onions. I want to use them up. They've been in the garage. But we're in the middle of August, and I got all my onions on the racks, and they're all dried out. But I'm trying to use up those little, little ones that, you know, normally you wouldn't use for cooking. But I've used them, and they taste just as fine, and I'm not wasting. Um, and when I'm done with those, then I'll start getting them at the farmer's market or whatnot. Um, oh, this one wasn't good, so I gotta go and get it out of the bowl. All right, so I've had these in my freezer. I got these when they were on sale. These are fully cooked smoked sausage made with pork and beef. This one's a cheddar and this one's a garlic. So I'm gonna cut these up and get these prepped and ready uh, to go in the foil packets. I really had no dinner plans tonight, but I've been out. I hit the thrift store because I was down by that way. I found some lanterns. I'll show them to you. Uh, I'll show those at the end of the video. But yeah, so I'm just going to cut these up. They're all going to go in the foil packet with some onions and potatoes seasonings. Never had these meat chunks before, these sausages, but first time for everything. Easy dinner tonight. We're, Brockton's supposed to come over because we're gonna, we were supposed to go to the beach tomorrow. Chris took the day off and it's supposed to rain. So, who knows? Who knows? But these are already fully cooked, so, and this is the garlic one. I just bought them because they were a good deal that day. And we are in August. We are heading into the fall. Um, we're in the middle of August. So I have been going through all my preps, and I restocked my shelf-stable milk. I restocked my Mucinex. Um, I just purchased two lanterns some heavy duty coleman lanterns at the thrift store came home it was a gamble um but i put some batteries in them and they work just fine and then i paid six dollars and fifty cents for each one and they're worth way more than that all i had to do was add batteries so i did that but uh be enough sausage, enough potatoes, and I'm going to go get the onions. So I'm not even going to try with all these onions. I'm just going to use the onions that I have, and those are all going to get tossed. All right, so I washed them all up, and uh, we are going to slice them in rings. I try not to waste anything. Um, these are really on the small side, but they will still work just as great in with the um, sausage and potatoes. So we're gonna we're gonna do some in rings, some in chunks. Um, why not use them up before I, you know? I have plenty more out in the green, uh, garage, too, that I can use. I'm 
just going to cut them up into quarters. There'll be plenty of onions. If I need more, I'll go get more. I just spent the morning battling with Street Talk. They keep... I've had them for years. And every month, I do a $45 plan for all four of our phone lines. So, out of my bank account comes out $45... $45, $45, $45. Well, they decided to start bundling everything and didn't say nothing, and that's not how I wanted it. So I went to go and cancel that. They gave me a refund because they took so much money out of my account. And when they gave me the refund, they disconnected my lines. So I had to call three hours getting switched around, hung up on, switched around, hung up on. They assured me it wouldn't happen again. It would just get separated back. And, uh, well, they refunded me that money. And then I used my rewards that I have with them to get two of the lines for the month paid for with my rewards. Well, then, a few days later, I get another charge for $191. They're trying to charge me for all four lines again. So I'm like, okay, I call. This was yesterday. Squared that away finally. My refund went through because they refunded me again for the $190. And I've been trying to take my debit card information out of my account so that I can just go back to buying the cards at Walmart every month because I'm done having my bank account getting messed with. And they can't seem to, they couldn't get my bank account um, off my account, my bank card. So I went to the bank this morning. She can't take it out because it's through MasterCard and they can't put a stop. Because even if I got another bank card through them, it would be through MasterCard and Straight Talk would be able to just use that card. So, all right, I came home, got back on the phone with someone else, because you never get the same person. And they said they took it out. And when I went to go on my end and look, I was still on the phone with her. I said, I'm still seeing it. And it was disconnected. They disconnected. <sighs> but I did unenroll from auto refill. So hopefully that, they did say they're having problems. Um, it's doing, you know, it's bundling everybody to the family plan now, and it's not what I wanted. Even though it'll save me a little bit, it's not what I wanted. So I'm just going to let some time go by. I had to run down and put money in the bank because I don't keep much in there. So I'm leaving some of these in good-sized chunks, but I'm getting all my prep work. And I was thinking, I'm going to use a tinfoil tray with tinfoil on the top instead of a packet because I have a feeling it's going to be hard to do. Wrapping it all up. But I'll throw some butter in there and olive oil and We'll get to it. So these onions, you know, even though they're small, you can still use them. They smell potent. Potent. So we're going to get these all in and ready to go and get mixed in. potatoes from the garden, onions from the garden, and two packs of sausage links that probably, I think they were two for five. So not a bad, cheap dinner tonight. And quick and easy to prepare. Let the oven do the work. The oven do the work. All right, 
right, so I got these at the Salvation Army. They were each six uh six dollars about. It was half off day. Look at this. This is a big and they both work. I put some batteries in it. So not bad for twelve dollars. These right here, these Coleman's are twenty-five, twenty-six dollars right now. So I just got two. And I got four seasons of two and a half men and two other DVDs. One was brand new sealed. And everything came up to twenty-three dollars and some change. Good deal, good deal. Get them when you can, guys. All right, so I added the potatoes to the onions and cooked, uh, sausage. I added some olive oil. And I'm gonna put some butter pats. I already have a couple, but I'm gonna add some butter pats. And then I'm gonna throw some seasonings on. I'm gonna use Mrs. Dash salt free because Todd and Sierra have a little bit of high uh, blood pressure and um, high cholesterol, so they have to go for some tests. So, and Sierra's got some issues with uh, her heart. So, I'm gonna do salt free seasonings. I'll use less salt. Now you could do this over a campfire, on a grill, but I've had a lot going on today. So we're just going to plop this in the oven, keep stirring it. bring you back when it's all done. All right, here it is. I sprinkled some Parmesan cheese on top and I'm going to throw those crescent rolls in the oven and this will be our dinner with some fresh cut up cucumbers and tomatoes from the garden and a little salad.